These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. I think this is like the last pod review I'm going to do in, in this exact style. But what's up, everybody? It's Grim Green back here today. Today, we're taking a look at this Oxva Slim CRC. And from what I understand, CRC is like a certain certification for certain different markets, some of them in Europe and in Canada from what I understand. And let me tell you that those markets that get this Oxva Slim CRC, lucky. This is a good piece of kit. I'm kind of actually legitimately bummed out that this isn't readily available in the United States because I like using it so much. It is one of, and I don't know, this isn't important to everybody, but it is one of the most, it might be the most hands-free, friendly pod system that exists, period, that exists. Out of the box, the top of the pod is sort of this rubberized nubbin on top. And I first put it in my mouth and I just choked up a little bit, hands-free. I went, great, this is great. It's a little bit squishy, it's a little bit rubbery, and you don't even have to choke up that far to be able to hold it. Well, 699 puffs later, that smooth like rubbery drip tip just became like the chewed on gnarled mess that you see in front of you. Despite looking like it does, it's so incredibly comfortable to just, I, it goes to the same spot every time I can just bite it, vape it, bite it, vape it. I don't know what it is. I love doing that. Hey, it's editing this guy here. And I'm here to tell you not just that the Oxva battery doesn't really work as a microphone holder, but also, Take it easy. I went too far. I felt like this would happen and I took it too far. I bit too much. I bit so much that the little rubber thingy on the outside has come completely off and it doesn't sit on there right anymore. And now it's just kind of this weird exposed naked thing that still actually vapes. Still vapes, doesn't flood, it's still sealed, it's just really uncomfortable and looks weird and is uncomfortable. I can still even like crack to fill it and re-put it on and it'll still vape, but again, no rubber. I went too far. Don't, bu don't bite, don't bite like I bite. I don't know that anybody does. And if you do, you know, please tell me in the comments. I've heard there are dozens of us. Just don't bite, take it easy. Take it easier than I did. Okay, back to the other guy. 700 puffs in, the flavor on this is still truly, truly stellar. This vapes almost exactly like the other Oxva Slim Pro SQ pods that I was kind of raving about. They feel a little bit softer, if that makes any sense. The other Oxva Slim pods have a slight little bit more crackle to them. And this one is kind of lacking that crackle, but it feels softer all around. Softness and biting of the drip tip aside, it also has, I'll just say it, my favorite fill system that I have experienced on a pod. It's freaking spring loaded. It's got two openings at the top and I can fill in either opening. I just press down, squeeze, fill it up. And when I let go, the springs pull that lever back up, seals the pod, never leaks, never leaks. I mean, truly and honestly, never leaks. I drive around, I go places with this. It's in. It's been in a backpack, it's been in the center console, it's been in my back pocket. I've sat on it for almost an entire movie. No leaks, no leaks, no dripping, no weeping, no seeping anywhere, no liquid anywhere it's not supposed to be. It's got a pretty nice little LCD type of screen on it. Tells me everything I need to know. One, two, three clicks on the fire button will let me start adjusting the wattage up. It'll get to the maximum 25 watts and then round robin back down to five watts. This is the 0.6 pod and I've been running it between 20 and 25 watts. Perfect. That It's just such a sweet spot for this resistance. Four clicks on the button will lock and unlock the fire button itself. And thankfully, seven clicks on the button will clear the puff counter. Didn't accidentally reset my puff counter. The little LED indicator in the button is really nice for seeing my battery level. I always know where it is. I like the adjustable airflow. I've actually been using this 0.6 ohm pod with that adjustable airflow fully open. It kind of does that thing that I've been enjoying lately where I can do a really nice open mouth to lung, transition to a little slightly restricted lung, and then go back or switch back and forth between the two. 
For anyone curious, it does get very, very tight. It can get very, very tight, but still remains same, enjoyable, flavorful, and soft. That's the word of the day for this pod, soft. Try as I might, I can't right now think of any reason why I can't give this 10 banana stickers. It's great, <laughs> it's just great, it's flavorful. Oh, hey, but I can. Yeah, it's the tip. It's the tip. As soon as I chewed that tip off, that pod kind of became useless. Yes, I could still vape it. Yes, I could still fill it up. Yes, all of those things. But man, and that rubber came off fairly easily. I don't feel like I was excessively bitey with this, although it is rubber. So I kind of feel like the biting is encouraged. There's even like a little ledge and those that get this will know but there's a little ledge that they encourage you it's like hey bite right here just we made it perfectly rubber and right here i just wish it was a little more durable nine banana stickers final answer okay back to the other guy this is a good good kit i mean 700 plus puffs now on this same pod and it shows literally no signs of slowing down the flavor hasn't even dropped E even a little bit. It's a solid weight and a solid size for the 900 ma battery on the inside. I mean, dang, Oxva, Zlim, CRC. I've said it before in this review and I'm gonna say it again because this is what rambling looks like, but people in the market where they can get this Oxva, Zlim, CRC are very, very lucky. I cannot tell you exactly where to get them because of YouTube and I can't exactly tell you how much they cost, but I've seen them in places for around that $35 to $40 uh, uh, area. I don't know what that, uh, uh. So that's not like crazy vape budget hands. It's kind of nothing to blow your nose at though either. That's a, I mean, I, I got three tacos from Taco Bell the other day, three tacos and a, and a big drink. $15, $15. Remember when Taco Bell was like, you could get two burritos for like 42 cents. Hi, yeah, that's really what rambling looks like. So I'm gonna say one last thing. If you're a person who currently smokes cigarettes, 2024 is the time to switch. I believe in you. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market in the description of this video. I'm gonna put links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free literally every single day. <coughs> It's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so 